Poker Tour. The biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these six players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy, a WPT title. Tonight on the World Poker Tour. Hi, everyone. Tonight, we are seaside in Atlantic City to bring you the final table of the Borgata Poker Open. I'm Mike Sexton, along with Vince Van Patten, and this is the WPT. And, Mike, it is always fun to be at Borgata. I mean, this is where the amateurs and the pros from around the world take a shot at a title. I mean, we're by the seashore of Atlantic City. It is beautiful, and all these people want to walk away with boatloads of money. Well, last season, young pro Vivek Raj Kumar cruised through a field of 516 players on his way to becoming the Borgata Poker Open champion. This season, a record-setting 1,018 players took their shot at fame and fortune. We are now down to these final six players who have their dream set on sailing away with that WPT title. And this should be exciting tonight because all of these players are making their first appearance in the pressure cooker of a WPT final table. That's right, Vance. We've got a tournament rounder from Chicago, two tough cash game players out of Canada, and two amateurs who are taking time off from their day jobs to <laughs> prove that they have what it takes to make it out here in the green felt. Yes, but first they're going to have to get through the man with the most chips, online pro Olivier Bousquet. Now, he's regarded as a heads-up specialist. He usually only plays against a single opponent, but tonight he's close to being crowned the champion of the largest field ever for a WPT tournament. Well, with tons of cash and a WPT title on the line, who's going to walk out of here as the next WPT champion? Well, Mike, there's only one way to find out. Let's go watch him gamble! So here we go, the final table of the Borgata Poker Open about to get underway. We started five days ago with a WPT record-setting field of 1,018 players. We are now down to these six. All right, the Andes will start at 10,000, blind 60 at 120,000. We're going to take home close to a million dollars. The cards are flying. Action on Keith Crowder, the real estate investor out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We've got four guys in their 20s at this final table, all six making their first WPT final table appearance. Oh, well, Keith quickly folding. The accountant, Jeremy Brown, also folding. Chip leader, Olivier Bousquet, out as well. Now we're around to the complete short stack. Can he win? He lays down as well. So it's a battle of the blinds here. Action's on Ivan Mamusic. He's the youngest player at the table, a student out of Canada. 300. And he's got a king three, and he's going to move it up to 300,000 to go. Cool. And Yannick Broder taking no time there. Quickly calls with a pair of threes. We got a pot. Uh, flop comes a seven six with two hearts. Helps neither player. Ivan Mamusic raised before the flop. Will he make the continuation bet? That looks like he's doing it. Four hundred. Four hundred thousand. Wow! Boldly played there by Ivan Mamusic, and it's gonna work. So Ivan Mamusic. Oh, it's bad luck to win the first one. Sings the first tune here tonight. Well done. You know, he's a cash game player. Came up here to play cash games. Didn't want to play the tournament. And entered late. And he checks out every night. He says, I'm leaving. I'm not going to do that well. So I've checked out in the morning. But then he's continued. He's made the final table. Well, every day goes farther. He can afford to pay that hotel bill. All right. Quick action. Jeremy Brown, quick fold. The chip leader, Olivier, now with a 8-7. Nothing fancy. He goes out. Now around to the short stack again. Uh -oh. I mean short stack, folks. Here we go. Second hand in the tournament. You really want to bust that fast? <laughs> got a little over 500,000. All right. It's night of flight with you guys, and I'm short stack. I'm all in. Look at this. Ah. He's going to push it in there. Well, he's happy-go-lucky. <laughs> he's shipping him in here. Nathan goes out. I don't blame him, Vince. But here's the trouble now. How much is it? The small blonde Yannick Broder with a six of spades. Yannick's got about 5.4 million in chips. Can easily afford to make this call. Have a good hand? I have a very good hand, man. Keep, keep Super Tony around for a little bit. Fold the hand one time. Oh, you'd love that, <laughs> wouldn't you? You gonna show? Yeah, I'll show you. He's yeah. a very likable guy. Very personable. All right, fold. Oh, and I'm surprised that the poker pro Yannick Broder goes out there with an a six suit. Ah. You have to know that the short stack is going to move in with oh, any man. two cards. How much more is it? But the real estate sweat, guy, sweat. Keith Crowder, though, is going to make him sweat. I have a good hand. He's got just a queen deuce of spades. 
How good is your hand, Tony? It can hurt you, Keith. I have a good hand. Oh, he's such a liar. You gotta love this guy with the big smile, the short stack, pushing it around like that. Well, Keith is actually in fifth chip position himself, so he doesn't have that many chips where he can afford to give away a half a million of them. Can he win? Would love to take this right now. Bluffing right, his way on this hand, and it's gonna work! Thank you, thank you. Well, Kenny says thank you, and why not? I saw it. So he shows him a 9 7 of clubs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are! Kenny win the short stack, hanging in there by dental floss. Gonna take down that pot. Wow, man. You are. That is unbelievable. I knew I should have I should have took you out. They're bluffing at Brigada, and it's working. Stay with us here on the World Poker Tour. When you stroke stack, not much you can do. You try to uh, pick a good hand, and uh, you uh, just go with it. You make final six people left. You know, that the, the field's over a thousand players. From this point on, no matter what, I'm still happy. It's a nice score. Kenny, Super Twan win. Welcome back to the Brigada Poker Open in Atlantic City. Yeah, the battle at Brigada is already in full swing. Let's go check the chip count and get back to the game. Well, we'll start out with Kenny Wynn. He is on the short stack right there, even though he just picked up a set of blinds and annies. Good for Kenny. Good for for Simba Thwan. Says he's always a happy guy, man. I mean, he is a fun guy. No more, no more gifts for you. I like having him at the table. Well, the happy-go-lucky here tonight so far. Well, let's go down to the felt. Olivia Buski. look at this hand. He's picked up a pair of kings. Uh, he's really the happy one because he's the really? big chip leader at this table. And now he's picked up a big hand. Yeah. Two kings. Makes it 300,000 to go. But there's trouble because Kenny Wynn behind him with a pair of eights. Well, that's when you're on the short stack and you pick up a pair like this, you almost have to go with it. Wow. Civil Thorn is all in again, guys. Well, here we go. He's all in again, he says. Oh, boy. He's going to move it in. Ivan, my music going out. As well as Yannick, Keith Crowder, the real estate man, says no. Well, Jerry B. Oh. Brown out as well. Oh. And of course, Olivier making the call. Simba's so, running into a brick wall this time. Good natured. Oh. I love his attitude, Vince. I'll say that. Why I have to pick up two eight here? What an opportunity for the heads up specialist, the chip leader, Olivier Bousquet. Eight, 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 eight. Kings up against eight. Well, here we go. Flop is ace, jack, deuce. No help for Kenny. Knows he's going to have to catch an eight to win this pot to stay alive. Looking for a snowman. Doesn't happen on the turn as a 10 comes up. Yep. Well, he's going to have to have an eight ball in the corner pocket, or this is going to be game over for Kenny Win right here. Yep, he needs a miracle. One card to come. Can Kenny get lucky? Eight on the river. Oh! Nope. It's a seven. So that's going to do it for Super Twan. Kenny Win. Got in this tournament by winning a $350 satellite. Cashed out pretty good, Vince. Uh, 156000 for Kenny, the Super Twan. You know, just get attached to this guy. <laughs> you know, just a great attitude. Well, detach yourself, Vince. He's gone. All right, we are down to five players just like that. What you're looking at now is a chart that shows the percentage of chips that each player has. Obviously, with five players left, if you have 20% of the chips, you have an average chip stack. Olivia Bousquet, our chip leader, has nearly twice that size. All right, we're down to five-handed poker. Action going to Jeremy Brown. Jeremy with an ace eight. You know, Jeremy graduated from Penn State in accounting. He started playing poker in college. And he's just going to call. Now the heads-up specialist, the chip leader, Olivier Bousquet, now with a king seven, contemplating what to do. Well, he knows he's got chips, he's got power. 400. Well, Olivier's made it 400,000. There you saw Jeremy taking a little drink right there, trying to relax himself here at this final table. And a few quick folds around to Keith Crowder. Oldest player at the table, 39 years old, and he's also going to fold. Back around to Jeremy. He's going to call him with the ace eight. So it's down to the two New Yorkers, the two chip leaders in this pot alone. So here's the flop. Now flop comes king, queen, five with two clubs. Olivier gets lucky, hits the pair of kings. Well, they flopped top pair, and Jeremy quickly checks. Nothing hitting there for him. Olivier Bousquet. 
also going to check. Well, Olivier is a pro. He's won over two million playing online. Heads up, sit and goes. Wow. And now he's hit his two pair, kings and sevens. Because he checked on the flop, perhaps Jeremy will take a stab at this pot. Most players would, but he's not. Wisely checking here. Yeah, that is a wise check. 525. And he's got to bet the two pair now. Come out of the woods, 525,000. Uh, no car Jeremy can catch to win this pot, so anything he puts in the pot right now, just say adios to. <clears throat> no tricks for Jeremy. He's going to fold his hand. Olivier Bousquet, very successful online poker pro, plays about a thousand heads up sit and goes a month. Those are heads up tournaments. Does very well. I'll take a butt heavy. A very bright guy. Graduated yeah. from Cornell as a philosophy major. Now just plays poker. Okay, and quick fold by Olivier Bousquet. Now music also going out. And now it is a round of the poker professional out of Montreal, Yannick Broder. 27 years old. He's got just a four deuce this time. And he's going to raise it. A position raise, as we say. Raising on the button here. Hope the blinds throw their hand away where he can steal the pot. But Keith Crowder, who always looks like he's about to play the hand, but then folds again. And Jeremy has the ace three of diamonds. Again, he's going to call the raise. Flop comes up. Oh, what a dream flop for Jeremy. It's come A7-4 with two diamonds. He's got top pair and the nut flush draw. Quickly checks. And he's going to get Yannick to bet. This is measly pair of fours. Looks like 350,000. Well, he did flop bottom pair. His opponent did check. He made a continuation bet, but got called. Probably not liking it. Now a nine comes off. Jeremy again going to check. Throwing the rope. And Yannick. Here's his girlfriend, Claudia, in the audience, sweating her man. Yannick is going to bet 625000 this time. Well, he's just hoping that perhaps Jeremy has middle pair and would throw it away with a bet or just has a flush draw and would throw it away. But unfortunately for Yannick, Jeremy has made the call here. Going to the river, another nine pairs, the nines. Well, he's checked. And I'll tell you one thing, if Yannick fires a big bet here, it's going to be a tough call to make with an ace three. But he does, and he checks. Just hopes his opponent's got just a flush draw without the ace, but no. Jeremy's going to take down this pot with aces up. Nicely done. Didn't have to hit the flush. His friends, very joyous in the front row. And Jeremy getting another beer. Well, why not? Let's celebrate a little bit here. Hundred bottles of beer on the wall here in Atlantic City. We are having fun. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Making a WPT final table is definitely a goal that I've always had. And I think that any player that plays tournament poker wants to do. So I'm really excited that I'm here. But ultimately, my main goal, especially now that I have a lot of chips, is to win the tournament. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Five players remain here at the Borgata Poker Open. There you see our chip leader, Olivier Bousquet. Poker Pro out of New York has nearly 40% of the chips. Winner going to take home close to a million dollars here tonight in Atlantic City. Let's go to the table. Yannick Broder, first to act. Poker Pro out of Montreal, Quebec. And he quickly folds his hand. And now the real estate man, Keith Crowder, he's been playing very selectively this evening so far, has a King Jack. Yeah, he's picked up Kojak here, as we say. Two eighty makes it two hundred eighty thousand to go. Jeremy Brown going out. Rounded the chip leader. Would you start the hand with you? Two seven. Yeah, two seven. Yep. And he's in a small blind with just a nine six of hearts. Yeah, the kind of hand you like to see flops with, but what do you call the raise from a guy who's played pretty tight? Yep, very tight. I raised. But Olivier's not only going to call, he says raise. Wow. Look at this. Unbelievable. The chip leader coming right over the top. Makes it 1.1 million to go. That music won't play. So it's back around to Keith Crowder. You making a play here? Yes, he is. 